let, let me just ask you a question. This is one that was sent to me uh, when, I, when I publicized you were coming on. You've taken to this very well. I've talked to folks in Washington. They say you've earned respect quick up there. Around the district, uh, you have to feel like it's went overwhelmingly positively. Give me the, what, what, what lessons have you taken to Congress that might help, let's say, a Bill Irwin who's entering public life in January? You figured something out here. What, what's been the game plan that you've taken into your time in Congress? Um, okay, I've never told anybody this before, but um, cool. I, I, I really try to surround my people, myself with people of quality and character. And a lot of times that's older people. And I know there there's a, a lot of people, you know, who don't like older people in Congress. They feel like they've been there too long. But I have learned a lot, probably more from anyone else up there, uh, from Tom Cole, who's now the chair of the Appropriations uh, Committee. Oklahoma, right? Oklahoma, great patriot uh, man. He loves America. He's Native American. Um, he used to be chairman of the rules committee and it, the the rules committee office his office was right off the house floor and so during all these votes for kevin mccarthy that would take an hour and 10 minutes each and we went through them 15 times in between votes after the second vote he said hey uh, mark why don't you come to my office i come there and there's a bunch of people uh mostly men i think there's one woman congressman uh having a cigar and sipping a bourbon and oh that's that cigars up your alley he knew who he knew who exactly he was inviting. and but i have learned more from people like that and and how rogers uh who's the the dean of the house and look again i'm not going to agree with everyone on sure. on topics like that uh on exactly how they believe and exactly how they vote but i can learn from them i can learn uh how the system works there, some of the things to stay away from, some of the things to do, who to listen to and who not to. The number one thing I pray for when I go up to DC and here is discernment. I want to know who I should be doing business with because if you make a wrong move uh, in DC, it could end your career or put you in jail. And I don't want either of that to happen. I want to be here serving the people of the fourth congressional district for as long as God and the voters want me here. All right.